So you know the player GUI. It's like the starter GUI, but it's exclusive to one screen. You need to use a local script to access it, right? So in case you don't know, anything that's in the starter GUI is immediately in the player GUI. This is how you access the player GUI, and it has to be in a local script. The script works because I put it in a local script. You see, when I try this on a normal script, it just doesn't work. But is there a way that I could make it work with a normal script? Yeah, but it's a little bit more complicated. I'm going to insert a part and put a script in it. So it'll activate when the part was touched. I'm going to put a hit in the brackets. Now this is where it gets a little different. This is where you hit them with a 1-2 combo. So game.players get player from character and then hit.parent in the brackets. Then local player UI equals game.players find first child and player.name in the brackets. Then put if player then. Then we write the original function wait one and destroy the screen UI. And there's not supposed to be a G there. I did some off camera grinding and added a debounce script really quick. So that works perfectly without a local script. You could use this for like when a player gets a coin and it displays the number on their screen. I'll make a screen GUI and a text label that says you are cool. I'll put it inside the part and now I'm gonna change the script. I'll get rid of the function and put local cool GUI equals script.parent.screen GUI clone. Now cool GUI.parent equals player UI.player GUI. Wait three and destroy the clone. Look at how perfectly that works. By the way, you should like totally subscribe. We're about to hit 8,000.